The Game Awards is an annual awards ceremony honoring achievements in the video game industry. The shows are produced and hosted by Canadian games journalist Jeff Keithley who had worked on its predecessor, the Spike Video Game Awards, for over 10 years. The ceremonies also feature premieres of new games and in-depth looks at previously announced ones. History In 1994, Jeff Keithley had been a part of the first televised awards show for video games, Cybermania 94, the Ultimate Gamer Awards. Keithley, as a teenager, had been brought on to help write material for the celebrity hosts such as William Shatner and Leslie Nielsen. The show was not considered successful, aimed more for comedy than celebration, but from it, Keithley had been prompted to develop something akin to the Academy Awards for video games later in his career. Keithley had subsequently worked on the Spike Video Game Awards, abbreviated VGA, which ran from 2003 to 2013. The show, was broadcast on Spike TV near the end of each calendar year, was designed to honor video games released during that year. Keithley served as the producer and often host for these shows. In 2013, Spike opted to rename the awards from VGA to VGX as to reflect that they wanted to focus more on next-generation games that were being ushered in by the onset of the eighth generation of consoles, as well as bringing comedian Joel McHale to co-host alongside Keithley. The 2013 show was considered to be disappointing and aimed as a more commercial work rather than a celebration of video game achievements. Keithley was disappointed with the change in tone that this show has presented. He opted to drop out from further involvement in the VGX, allowing Spike to retain ownership of the property. In November 2014, Spike TV announced that they had opted to drop the awards show in its entirety. Instead, Keithley worked with several entities within the industry, including console hardware manufacturers Sony, Microsoft, and Nintendo, and several large publishers, to financially back and craft a new awards show, The Game Awards, with Spike's blessing. Keithley was able to secure space for hosting the live event. Without a broadcaster, Keithley and the entities agreed to stream the live show on the console's networks and on Valve Corporation's Steam service, as to be able to reach a much larger audience than Spike TV previously had. Since then, Keithley has been able to secure multiple streaming services around the globe for the show, which has been a move appreciated by several of the Game Awards partners since the show's inception. Keithley has been approached by broadcast networks offering to air the show, but he had refused these offers, allowing them to keep the freedom of how they present and structure the show. Keithley considered it important that the Game Awards presentation is aimed to favorably present the interest of gamers and of the industry, and to be welcoming to celebrities and others that have shown interest in video games. While the Game Awards are principally an awards show, Keithley knew the importance of having additional content, having seen other experiments of video game awards shows that were only dedicated to awards fail due to lack of audience. Keithley believed that the Game Awards should fall somewhere between the entertainment venues that are used for the Academy Awards, and the standard award presentation used for the Game Developers' Choice Awards, and wanted a balance of material. Through the Spike VGX and into the Game Awards, Keithley has engaged with developers and publishers to bring teaser trailers, sneak peeks, and reveals of upcoming games alongside the awards. He considers the crowning moment of this approach was being able to secure the first gameplay reveal of The Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild for the 2014 Game Awards. Kaylee encourages developers and publishers to provide any content that might be deemed exciting or that can pique interest, even if these games are at an early stage of development, and then makes the selection of which games and trailers to feature. Keithley will subsequently work with those developers and publishers about how to best position their trailers to have the most impact. For example, in the 2018 show, he and Nintendo worked on a trailer reveal for a new fighter in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate that appeared to start as a teaser for a new Persona game so that it would have the most dramatic impact. In conjunction with the awards presentation, several digital storefronts, such as Steam, the Xbox Games Store and the PlayStation Store offer the nominated games on sale leading up to and a few days after the presentation. The statuette awarded to the selected games was designed by collaboration between Keithley and Weta Workshop. It is meant to represent the evolution of the video game medium by way of an angel that ascends through digital building blocks. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Process. 
The Game Awards has an advisory committee which includes representatives from hardware manufacturers Microsoft, Sony, Nintendo, and AMD, and software publishers Electronic Arts, Activision, Rockstar Games, Ubisoft, Valve, and Warner Brothers. Interactive Entertainment. This committee selects around 30 influential video game news organizations that will be able to nominate and subsequently vote on the video games in several categories. The advisory committee otherwise does not participate in the nomination or voting process. During the nomination round, each of the news outlets provides a list of games in several categories. Games for the esports related categories are chosen by a specific subset of these outlets. The committee compiles the nominations and selects the most nominated titles for voting by these same outlets. Prior to 2017, there were 28 industry experts and representatives that selected the winners, while the awards from 2017 onwards have used over 50 such experts. <laughs> Ceremonies and winners Topic 2014. The 2014 ceremony took place at the Axis on December 5, 2014. Game of the Year: Dragon Age Inquisition. Developer of the Year: Nintendo. Best Independent Game: Shovel Knight. Best Mobile Handheld Game: Hearthstone: Heroes of Warcraft. Best Narrative: Valiant Hearts: The Great War. Best Score: Soundtrack: Destiny. Best Performance, Trey Parker in South Park, The Stick of Truth Games for Change, Valiant Hearts, The Great War Best Shooter, Far Cry 4 Best Action, Adventure, Middle Earth, Shadow of Mordor Best Role-Playing Game, Dragon Age, Inquisition Best Fighting Game, Super Smash Bros. For Wii U Best Family Game, Mario Kart 8 Best Sports, Racing Game, Mario Kart 8 Best Online Direction, Destiny Best Remaster, Grand Theft Auto V Most Anticipated Game, The Witcher 3, Wild Hunt Esports Player of the Year, Matt Nadeshot, Hog Esports Team of the Year, Ninjas in Pajamas Trending Gamer, Total Biscuit Best Fan Creation, Twitch Plays Pokemon Industry Icon Award, Ken Williams and Roberta Williams Sierra Entertainment Topic 2015. The 2015 ceremony took place at the Microsoft Theater on December 3, 2015. Game of the Year: The Witcher 3, Wild Hunt. Developer of the Year: CD Projekt Red. Best Independent Game: Rocket League. Best Mobile Handheld Game: Lara Croft Go. Best Narrative: Her Story. Best Art Direction, Ori and the Blind Forest Best Score, Soundtrack, Metal Gear Solid V, The Phantom Pain Best Performance, Viva Seifert as Hannah Smith, Her Story Games for Impact, Life is Strange Best Shooter, Splatoon Best Action, Adventure, Metal Gear Solid V, The Phantom Pain Best Role-Playing Game, The Witcher 3, Wild Hunt Best Fighting Game, Mortal Kombat X Best Family Game, Super Mario Maker Best Sports, Racing Game, Rocket League Best Multiplayer, Splatoon Most Anticipated Game, No Man's Sky Esports Player of the Year, Kenny Kenny's Shrub, Team Envious Esports Team of the Year, Optic India Esports Game of the Year, Counter-Strike, Global Offensive Trending Gamer, Greg Miller Best Fan Creation, Portal Stories, Mel Industry Icon Award, Brett Sperry and Lewis Castle, Westwood Studios 2016 The 2016 ceremony took place at the Microsoft Theater on December 1, 2016. Game of the Year, Overwatch Best Game Direction, Blizzard Entertainment Best Independent Game, Inside Best Mobile, Handheld Game, Pokemon Go Best VR Game, Res Infinite Best Narrative, Uncharted 4, A Thief's End Best Art Direction, Inside 
Best Music, Sound Design, Doom Best Performance, Nolan North as Nathan Drake, Uncharted 4, A Thief's End Games for Impact, That Dragon, Cancer Best Action Game, Doom Best Action, Adventure Game, Dishonored 2 Best Role-Playing Game, The Witcher 3, Wild Hunt, Blood and Wine Best Fighting Game, Street Fighter V Best Strategy Game, Civilization V Best Family Game, Pokemon Go Best Sports, Racing Game, Forza Horizon 3 Best Multiplayer, Overwatch Most Anticipated Game, The Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild Esports Player of the Year, Marcelo Cold Zara. David SK Gaming Esports Team of the Year, Cloud9 Esports Game of the Year, Overwatch Trending Gamer, Boogie 2988 Best Fan Creation, Enderal, The Shards of Order Industry Icon Award, Hideo Kojima Topic 2017 The Game Awards 2017 took place at the Microsoft Theater on December 7, 2017. Game of the Year, The Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild Best Game Direction, The Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild Best Narrative, What Remains of Edith Finch Best Action Game, Wolfenstein 2, The New Colossus Best Art Direction, Cuphead Best Role Playing Game, Persona 5 Best Fighting Game, Injustice 2 Industry Icon Award, Carol Shaw Best Family Game, Super Mario Odyssey Best Action, Adventure Game, The Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild Best Student Game, Level Squared Best Score, Music, Nier, Automata Best Audio Design, Hellblade, Senua's Sacrifice Best Performance, Melina Jurgens as Senua, Hellblade, Senua's Sacrifice Games for Impact, Hellblade, Senua's Sacrifice Best Ongoing Game, Overwatch Best Handheld Game, Metroid, Samus Returns Best Mobile Game, Monument Valley 2 Best VR, R Game, Resident Evil 7, Biohazard Best Strategy Game, Mario Plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle Best Sports, Racing Game, Forza Motorsport 7 Best Multiplayer Game, PlayerUnknown's Battlegrounds Best Independent Game, Cuphead Best Debut Indie Game, Cuphead Most Anticipated Game, The Last of Us Part 2 Trending Gamer, Dr. Disrespect Best Esports Game, Overwatch Best Esports Player, Lee Faker Sanghai EOK SK Telecom 1, League of Legends Best Esports Team, Cloud9 Chinese Fan Game Award, JX3 HD Topic 2018 The Game Awards 2018 took place at the Microsoft Theater on December 6, 2018. Game of the Year, God of War Best Game Direction, God of War Best Narrative, Red Dead Redemption 2 Best Action Game, Dead Cells Best Art Direction, Return of the Obra Dinn Best Role Playing Game, Monster Hunter, World Best Fighting Game, Dragon Ball Fighters. Best Family Game, Overcooked 2 Best Action, Adventure Game, God of War Best Student Game, Combat 2018 Best Score, Music, Red Dead Redemption 2 Best Audio Design, Red Dead Redemption 2 Best Performance, Roger Clark as Arthur Morgan, Red Dead Redemption 2 Games for Impact, Celeste Best Ongoing Game, Fortnite Best Mobile Game, Florence Best VR, R Game, Astro Bot Rescue Mission Best Strategy Game, Into the Breach Best Sports, Racing Game, Forza Horizon 4 Best Multiplayer Game, Fortnite Best Independent Game, Celeste Best Debut Indie Game, The Messenger Best Esports Game, Overwatch Best Esports Player, Dominique Sonic Fox McLean Best Esports Team, Cloud9 Best Esports Event 2018 League of Legends World Championship Best Esports Host, Ifie. Shokes. Deporter. 
Best esports moment Cloud9 comeback win in Triple OT versus FaZe Content Creator of the Year, Ninja Industry Icon Award, Greg Thomas <laughs>